Hello everyone and welcome to the Redmen TV. I'm Lauren and today I'm joined by Liverpool women's player Neve Charles. Neve, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Uh, so firstly, you've, you've been at the club for a while now. Uh, when did you first get into football and was there a particular team you supported or player that you looked up to? Um, I think I well, played football for as long as I can remember, about four, always into it. Yeah. Um, and obviously I've grown up around here, played football on that pitch just over there. Yeah. So. I've supported Liverpool all my life and obviously you get the likes of Gerard. he was a massive inspiration yeah. for me. I'm just Liverpool through and through really. Oh, that's good to hear. Um, so you mainly play on the wing, Did have you always been there or is, is it always, did you sort of transition over to there as you, as you got older? Um, yeah, I sort of had a weird positional growing up, so when I was playing with the boys I used to play as a fullback yeah. or, well to be, to be honest anywhere, just yeah. be stuck anywhere and then while I was at Liverpool Academy, I was predominantly a central midfielder. Um, but as I progressed uh, last year of 17s, and then here I've played as a winger. Is there anywhere else you'd like to play? To be honest, I don't really mind as long as I'm on the pitch. Yeah. I like giving everything a go and in training. If there's yeah. ever anyone wants to be a centre back, I'll be like, oh, I'll go centre back. Just like to yeah. give it a go, have literally, a lot. Yeah, literally anywhere. Yeah. I think I think everyone's like that. I think as long as you're playing on the pitch, yeah. you literally just want to play anywhere. Like, I just remember. I've gone goal and everything. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, literally anywhere. So obviously a graduate from the Centre of Excellence, come up through the through the development, made thirty eight appearances so far. What does it feel like like you said, like childhood club, what's it feel like to play for Liverpool? I mean, I love it. Uh, growing up, to be honest, I didn't think it was an option and I've sort of just followed the pathway and it's led yeah. me to this. And um, I'm very proud to have come through the academy. Yeah. Uh, I had a great time there and I always like to go back and I'm great, very grateful for the investment that was yeah. went to me. So congratulations on the new contract. Thank you. How does all that come about and what was your first thoughts when you first heard about it? Um, to be honest, someone just mentioned it to me. Yeah. Uh, obviously it, it was up in summer and it was something, once it was discussed, it was something I wanted to get done quickly mm -hmm. so it wasn't just hanging over me. Yeah. And I'm very pleased to have resigned. So a little bit about the manager of Hugh Jepson then. You've obviously, she's been with you pretty much for your whole career. Mm -hmm. What do you like as a manager and as a person both on and off the pitch? Uh, I think, well obviously ever since I've been at Liverpool, I've, Vicky's been here, she, I still remember her at my first game. Yeah. So it's lovely to have grown up with her and we know each other quite well now. Yeah. As a coach, she's exceptional, her knowledge of the game's brilliant and yeah. she really helps me develop my game and I feel I can approach her about things yeah. uh, on and off the pitch. Um, and then off the pitch, she, when she's not in football mode, she's great to get along with and yeah. she's a really good person. So, you went to the Under-20s World Cup last year, obviously this year the World Cup's coming up. How do you think England can do in, in this summer's World Cup? Um, I think it's a really excited exciting time particularly for the seniors they've we've yeah. had a couple of close calls in the last couple of years and there's yeah. definitely been investment and increased media around it um, so I'm hopeful for the World Cup I think it's pretty much in our hands as long as uh, we work hard yeah and um, we're becoming a real force to be reckoned with yeah so in terms of like coverage of the women's football how, how do you think it's grown over the past couple of years uh, massively I think it's pretty exponential the growth you can see it from even when I was uh, just getting into the more senior level to now yeah. uh, the progress has been massive and it's only going to hopefully continue on that upward trajectory. Yeah so we've just been discussing then you obviously at, at universities you, you juggle those two um, is it hard to do that at times you think oh it, it, sometimes is it, is it worth it and stuff like that? Yeah I mean it's definitely difficult especially around exam period you start to realise that it, it is a full-time uni course and a full-time football, yeah. uh, so it is difficult to juggle. Um, but I just keep thinking at the end it'll be worth it, and I've got a lot of support around me, so I can't really complain. Outside of football, then, is there anything else that you're interested in? Uh, to be honest, football is my life, and I'd have it no other way. Yeah. Um, but anything sport-related, I'm into, and anything with a bit of competition, yeah. I'll be there. So then. This Liverpool side, you can tell it's a very close knit team. Um, obviously, been in like a, a rebuilding stage this season. But what do you think this team can achieve in the coming years? Um, I think the future's looking bright. There's a uh, a big push forwards now, and I think this season's probably setting the foundations. And I'm excited for pre-season to see what new ideas we're going to bring and yeah. how we can continue to build forward and get more of an identity in the way we play. Yeah, and then personally for yourself in your football career, what would you like to achieve? Uh, I think probably in the next couple of years, just give my everything to this club and see how far we can go, both personally and as a team. Yeah. Um, 
and then just see what happens. Yeah, well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you for having me. Um, thank you for everyone watching and listening. Make sure to like the video, comment and subscribe. He head over to the website, look at all the other stuff on there, and, and I'll see you soon.